So here we go. So here's Kirsty Allsop. On location, location, location. Gents, we are in an eel and pie house. Sum up what you're looking for before I open my pie hole too <laughs> wide. <laughs> Talking about her mouth there, of course. Everyone all right? Charlie? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no hands, Harding. <laughs> okay. Oh, just lost it. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, God. It's a good one, though, right? I can't, I can't hold it in my mouth that long. <laughs> Kirsty talking about her mouth there, of course, which is about to open very wide. Thanks to I'm Megan. Sorry. Megan and County Durham for that. Oh, my God, I just went down the wrong hole. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's one. Now, <laughs> more water, please. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> She's coughing. What's that? OK, here we go. Mm. Now over to come dine with me. Mm. And one contestant is going to extreme lengths to try and win the competition. Mm. Listen for the innuendo. So we're going to keep it nice and uh, easily digestible. Delicious. I can hold my own in the kitchen. Well, no-one else is going to hold it for you. Anyway, time for Richard to unleash his beef. Yep. <laughs> oh, come on! Charlie. That wasn't that bad. That was good. I... I'm sorry, and I, I was holding that for, like, two minutes. <laughs> get warm. Richard oh, was uh, Richard was cooking some steaks there, of I've course. I've heard worse. Yeah, I have. Thank you to Nick and Islington <laughs> for sending that one in. I'm still choking. David says, this is amazing. Um... <laughs> Charlie, full of water, looks like an orange hot water bottle. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. mm -hmm. yep. oh, gosh. Um, here we go. Okay. So, Ready? now we're going back to 1953 and a clip <laughs> from the feature film Titanic, the one even before Leonardo DiCaprio. Now, in those days, the chat-up lines were a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Here we go, back to the 50s. Lots of water in your mouth. Here we go. And it. There we are. May I bone your kibbutz, my mother? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sarah, man. Now, straight in the face. In your face. That is living. <laughs> now, of course, traditionally, a gentleman always cuts up a lady's fish at dinner, so that's what happened there in, in, uh, in the 1950s on Titanic. And it. There we are. May I bone your kibbutz, my mother? <laughs> um... <laughs> Thank you to Alex, all the way from New York, <laughs> on email, who sent us that. OK, here we go. Formula One next. This is a good one. Now, obviously, being an F1 driver is a difficult job, but I never knew they had to face this on the racetrack. Fabulous question, because I think he has to look over his shoulder, he has to look in the mirror, Sebastian, that is, yeah. and say, hang on a second. He's looking forward to he, he, the in front look, of him. Look, he, he's locked up his braking, he's made mistakes, he got blown off today by a young guy. <laughs> Yeah, this is good now. Oh, everyone is soaking wet. Oh my, oh my gosh, this is out of control. I'm just going to keep my eyes closed because I don't want to see it coming. I would. I'd keep them closed. It's breaking. He's made mistakes. He got blown off today by a young guy. Here we are. Sebastian Vessel there being oh, overtaken by his teammate, Daniel Ricciardo. Oh. You look really wet, babe. <laughs> really, really wet. <laughs> I've got waterproof eyelash mascara and everything on it, except my eyelashes might fall off in a minute. <laughs> That's happened before. Oh, oh my God, look at my jeans. Well, look, I've got, like, wet suit pants on, so I'm all right down there, but I actually think this might be a dry clean top now. Yeah, it's, it's a bit <laughs> leave it, isn't it? Here we go. Oh, jeez. All right, now <laughs> over to our very own Gemma Kearney this morning. Now, I know she's on early in the morning, but she doesn't, she doesn't need to do this. Mm -hmm. I didn't realise she does it. Here we go. Uh, Joel Compass, Girlfriends on BBC Radio 1. It's 11 minutes past six. It's Gemma on your radio. Check out my gravel pit. <laughs> <laughs> Ten past six as well. She just loves Wu Tang Clan. I'm not looking where I'm spraying. I'm sorry. It's all right, love. I'm soaking really. How are you doing there, Charlie? Down yeah, there, right? I'm a bit wet, cuz I'm a little bit wet, and I haven't got I haven't got a change of clothes, Nosey. So oh. I'm gonna be walking you just around. You said don't get the jeans. Yeah, but babe, that's what you've been getting. Son. It's not warm, but it's silk. Not silk. It's about fifteen hundred quid this jacket. Seriously, if someone put a match to you, you'd, it's flammable. That. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> OK, right now, oh, here we go. calm yourself. Here we go. Okay. Sloth versus Harding oh. on Inu and the Bingo. 
And now over to Susanna Reid on Good Morning Britain, mm. just from last Thursday. And Susanna's chatting to Downton actor Dan <coughs> Stevens, who's just landed a very big Hollywood film role. Now, obviously, the LA auditions are very demanding, but I never realised you had to go this far. This is you as an All-American and a big opportunity for you in Hollywood. You must have had to beat off a lot of American men <laughs> to get this part. <laughs> Oh, it's straight in Sarah's face. <laughs> However, babe, that makeup, that makeup is holding up. Oh, listen, I've been on plenty of tours, you know. I mean, <laughs> we had to learn to sweat. No! That was. Oh, I'm so even, sorry. That was. That, that had to beat off. Loads. Did you not have to beat them off? There we are, Susanna Reed. Maybe that's a bloke thing. Didn't even realise what she was that. saying. <laughs> Why does that make you giggle? Did you not have to beat them off? Oh. Uh, so many of you on email, Nicola, Chris, Luke, Adrian, Matt, Lewis, oh. Sean, Peter, Vicky, Karen, thank you. OK, uh, more water, please. Oh, my God, I'm still, still going. I'm still choking. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, if you're not watching this live, get on it later. Now I know why Caroline Flack was coughing so much. <sighs> OK. Now we're going over to Rick Stein's Mediterranean Escapes. Now, this one has not been on for ages. It's one of my personal favourites, <laughs> one we haven't heard in a long time. But listen out for the uh, the king of Mallorcan lardy cake, because he's got a fantastic name. It's called Ensamada, and no Mallorcan feast is complete without it. The king of Mallorcan lardy cake, because that's what it reminds me of, is Miguel Pujol. <laughs> <laughs> that's his name. <laughs> what? Charlie, you just... It's called Ensamada, and no Mallorcan feast is complete without it. The king of Mallorcan lardy cake, because that's what it reminds me of, is Miguel Pujol. There we are. Oh! Yeah, it's just yeah all right, don't explain it. Second time around. <laughs> I, was, I was a bit slow on the update. I'm no. representing all the blondes here, sorry. <laughs> now we're going over to <coughs> Channel 4's oh. Secret Agent and Phil oh. Spencer. Oh, he's at it again. Ready? But has the living room become somewhere families would want to snuggle up? Oh, now, this had such an overly bold coloured chimney breast. I'm usually a fan of breasts that stand out, but this <laughs> dominated the room. No, everything all right? Mm. There's a chimney breast there. Mm. OK, if that didn't tickle your fancy, let's go to Undercover Boss. And it's amazing the things people take to work with them. Judy isn't just the public face of the garage, she's totally devoted to the cause. And it's not lipstick it's she carries tiny. in her handbag. And if you pull it out, it's double-ended. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ah. Uh, and, uh, oh, my <laughs> and that concludes ah. Tuesday's <laughs> Indian <laughs> Bingo. How are you feeling, Sarah? Refreshed? Very wet! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you that wet in my I'll life. i tell you what, I was getting the right sweat on before, but now I've had a good old shower. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah, it's good, good, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, listen, good luck for the final of... Um, of, oh, of Tumble on Saturday. And remember, while you're on the show... And remember... <laughs> no running! No bombing! There we are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Another Indiana Bingo oh, clip there. Listen, I wanted the news, not the weather, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. There we are. Um, it's a double-ended screw, of course, on uh, oh. Undercover yeah, Boss, of course, of if, you, weren't, if yeah. you were wondering. <laughs> All right, thanks very much, guys. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs>